This week's For Your Community, we introduce you to Dee Dee's Cry, a Roxbury nonprofit helping to offer resources and education on the importance of mental health and wellness within communities of color. Here's Anna Ritis Rodriguez. Joining us is Toy Burton, the founder and executive director of Dee Dee's Cry. Toy, thank you so much for being here with us today. Tell us about Dee Dee's Cry. It's an organization named after your sister. I named it after my sister, my sister, Danita Shea Morris. She died by suicide in 1986, but I didn't start Didi's Cry until 2017 when I noticed that organizations that focus on suicide prevention and mental health education, they weren't having their events in Roxbury, Dorchester, and Mattapan to me, communities of color. So because of their lack of racial equity, I decided, decided to start my own organization to make sure that this information is accessible. I love how you connect to your community. And during this pandemic, you've been able to do so through uh, YouTube and social media, right? Pre-COVID, we were having events. We had an event um, in Nubian Square, and then we had an event um, in Grove Hall, and then the pandemic happened. So we went virtual. So all our events are online now. The majority of the things we talk about are from my lived experience. And I bring other people in from the community who share the same lived experience. And we just wanna um, tell our stories and let people know that they're not alone. All our events are free. So there's most of the events, there's no registration. They're on Facebook, on our Facebook page, Do You Just Cry? So you can just go and press play and get all the education and information that you need. Why is it so important for our communities to talk about mental health? I do receive a lot of emails um, just saying just how wonderful Dee Dee's Cry is and how they connect with it and how it's needed in our community. And um, that just brings me joy. Tell us how can people connect with you and if they want to donate their time or their money, how can they do so? Yesterday I launched... Um, Dee Dee's Cry Suicide Survivors Assistance Fund. So when my sister died, like most deaths, it's unexpected, right? But when my sister died, that was a financial hardship that my mother couldn't meet. So at the time, my sister had to be buried, you know, in my great-grandmother's plot. And it took over 20 years for my mother to come up with the money just to have her name engraved on it. So to this day, my sister does not have her own burial plot. And I don't want anyone else, no other family to have to go through that. So I'm starting a fund to raise money so we could support families in the system with the burial costs and um, the funeral costs. So you can give me an email at dutyscry at yahoo.com. Toy, thank you so much for being with us here today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 